Hey guys, welcome to District Gamers episode 6. I'm your host, Stealthy. We got another special guest today with us, Zurich Meister. Hey guys, how's it going, guys? Uh, today's episode is going to be a Halloween themed episode. We're talking about all, all sorts of horror games from Resident Evil, Silent <coughs> Hill, Outlast, you know, Amnesia, Alone in the Dark. Oh, anything we can think of. We're just going to kind of discuss it, go over it, and uh, besides that, Look forward to our uh, Super Smash Brothers tournament. Should be coming up real soon. I know I've mentioned it on the previous two podcasts. <coughs> also, uh, we got a top 10 video in the works. And uh, real quick, I want to go over uh, the last two episodes. Well, specifically episode four, we kind of had the mic thumping issue. And we're hoping to get that straightened out. And if we're lucky, this episode goes smoothly and the sound is clear and everything works out real nice. But uh, again, also Flying Ho, Sexy Haas, you know, they're out of town. They, they weren't able to make it on today's episode. So they'll be back soon. Uh, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Follow District Gamers on Twitter. You can follow Flying Ho on Twitch. He's taking care of the twitching. And uh, you can always find the audio download link down in the des description. Uh, we're also on SoundCloud. We'll be on Apple Podcasts soon. And... Uh, you know, we'll look into other ways of distributing the podcast. But, uh, yeah, enjoy the show. All right, we're going to start off with asking Zurich Meister for his favorite gaming platform. What do you like the best? Xbox, PlayStation, PC? What's your preferred gaming platform? In my opinion. Everyone so far has been PC and... I mean, I've always been an Xbox. I can say Xbox. You know, over the years, uh, I kind of had a little changeover. I was always a PlayStation fanboy when I was younger. Yeah, PlayStation I remember 1, you, PlayStation you played a 2. lot of PC before as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, you can't forget about PC. PC is always the top yeah. priority. In my opinion, they're always going to have the best technology, always going to have the best graphics, no matter what Yeah, happens, so what always. made you switch to Xbox? I, I remember it was Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Anything specifically? Was it just really, the console? I'll, I'll be honest with you. It was my gamer gamer tag. I got over 100,000 gamer scores, so, you know... There I you stuck. go. And I've, yeah. always been try I've always been achievement hunter. So I got some of the hardest achievements, you know, the Aperture yeah. Science from Portal. I got... Seriously, from Gears, that's original amazing. Gears, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, outside of that, like PCs, always just yeah. been a technology thing. Okay, what's your favorite game in general, overall video game to play? Well, I'm, I'm kind of old school. I'll, I'll still say Half Life Two. <laughs> Half Life Two. I'll throw that up there. Half Life Two. I don't think anything's been able to top that, even in recent years, as far as like physics wise, and, you know, puzzles and stuff in video games. They, they, they've nothing that can top that, honestly. Yeah. So you, you know, I don't know why why companies just don't try, or it's like. Or it's just that difficult to make something of that caliber, you know? It's just yeah, a, it's unbelievable. You still hold and hope for Gabe to release Half Life uh, I mean, uh, I've lost three hope. episodes. I'll be honest with you, I've lost, lost hope Half Life 3. I don't think, uh, you know, they made enough money. In... Will you be able to count to 3 one day with Left 4 Dead 3 and all that? Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> or I, you think I, I honestly. Or making games? If, besides the VR stuff he's released. I'd say they gave up on. Uh, on they're done. They're on just the, going to yeah. work with They're the, making uh, their money off indie games and all the other stuff, all the third parties release yeah, on the market and stuff. And Steam's always been going uh, pretty strong, you know, for years. Yeah. I had a Steam account when they originally first made Steam, you know, and, you know, pretty much hasn't changed. They so haven't added any. Is that what you would be most anticipating if they did release a Half Life 3? Or is there I another mean, game you're looking forward I'll, to? Uh, right now, I mean, video gaming's changed a lot. You know, back in the days, PC games were always about the best graphics, you know, like they're trying to, like, you know, hit a different milestone every time they made something. Yeah, I remember now the focus is just on indie games, you know, and smaller, you know, like Meat Boy. What's that Meat Boy game on Steam? And, you know, Super games that are easy to make and just make quick money for some of these yeah, companies. Yeah, it seems like production is, uh, you know, it's too costly now. Yeah, they're not making games with physics as good as Crisis exactly. 1 and Half-Life. Now they're, they're, they're not, fo that's the thing about PC gaming that's changed over the years. You know, they, they, they don't focus on technology and graphics and stuff anymore. They focus on what's going to be more lucrative for them. What's going to run better on the on consoles and pretty also much, look good on Pretty TV. much. What's I mean, going to run on everything? You know, and, 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 my, and like, you know, from my experience, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if professionals would do, see it differently, but, you know, like, developers at least, you know, I feel like after Crisis, you know, hit that 
you know, with the graphics and the technology they were using and the sh you know, all these complex different things. You know, nowadays look at the Crytek engine, how it's like stepped down. Have you noticed that? How they, I mean, yeah, definitely. The, with the, Crisis 2 and 3. The visuals, they might try to make them look more. It, it know, might look better, but you're right. Like The physics technology, right. the physics. Yeah, exactly. yeah I, I agree. Crisis 1 was a lot better. So you can destroy you see, all those buildings. The evolution of so, PC gaming has changed a lot. So, well, you know, that's why is I there a game you're anticipating that's coming out? Oh, uh, there is that one game. Uh, this I can't remember what it's I think called. we talked it? about it before the podcast. Death Stranding? No, uh, oh. Death Stranding is, is a good game. I am looking forward to it. Right. That's more more of a PlayStation uh, 4 exclusive. Yeah. It's P now, now you still do have a PS4, so of you course. do have access to I have to all, all consoles. I have, uh, I have access to everything, so okay. you know, I'm not limited when it comes to gaming. Yeah. You know, so or you don't have a most anticipated game? You would there is a new game. I cannot... I just... It's one of those... Uh, uh, it's not an indie game. It's actually a very big budget game. It's made by Remedy. I believe it's Remedy or... Uh, Remedy? Oh, oh, Control. Control. That's how. That's what You it can is. actually get it right now. Can you get that yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. After uh, the podcast, go for get sure. it on the oh, market. I've been waiting for that for a while. I've just, you know, the, the way the gameplay the way the way gameplay looks, and uh, it kind of gave me a flashback to that, uh, what's that one game called? Uh, Quantum Break? Oh, yeah. I don't yep. know why it gave me that same sort of a Quantum movie. Break wasn't that crazy of a game, you know, but I, oh, I, I enjoyed I still, it. It was I a really very good it, game, yeah. something new, you know. You holding hope for Alan Wake 2? Oh my god, you know, I, it's funny you bring this topic up, because that's exactly what I was going to bring up. I thought about this thing all week, honestly. The Alan Wake, as far as the horror genre, nothing mm -hmm. has been able to, you know, to... To, I, I don't know, like back in the days, their games, when we actually played them, like the original Silent Hill, you know, you got this feeling for urgency, you know, when you played it, you're, I don't want to say scared, but you know, like you're cautious yeah. and intense, you know, um, Alan Wake helped bring that back, you know, when I Yeah, is there anything you're currently playing right now? Like, Oh, uh, I am, cur I... I am playing Darksiders 3, you know, oh. not that they get, they're giving it for free, but I got it, like, at least a month ago, and I just have not had time to play. Yeah, I, I've, I've been stuck in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been trying to zero out that whole game. Oh, so you're kind of playing two games at yeah, once. Yeah, I pretty much beat Red Dead Redemption 2. I got 100 everything, basically, 100% completion, except for the little, uh, those little challenges they have, you know, different horses. I got, actually, I got the horse one. There's a couple more I'm missing, but... You know, I've been trying to zero that game out. Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably one of the best games I've honestly so played. So you're trying to fully complete the exactly. achievements as well? Pretty oh, much. Man. I got all the legendary animals. I did everything. How, how many months have you been playing it right oh, now? Oh, I've been playing. I got a lot of hours in, man. I don't know if it'll beat my uh, Witcher 280 hours, but... Witcher, Witcher 2 or 200? Witcher 3. Witcher 3. Witcher 3, oh, I had 280 okay, yeah. hours yeah, in that man. game. That, you know, that game I've, I've got too long for me. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, I had to beat Witcher. I've always been a Witcher fan, so, you know... It's That's good, dog. Uh, and you're playing that on Xbox One? Yep, I was playing on Xbox One. Uh, are you playing on the S version X or the old school day one? The day one edition. Day one edition. Yeah. That's good, dog. Uh, Always. I, I suggest upgrading I have to the a, 4K. I do got a 4K TV. I got a 4K OLED TV by LG, which is a very oh, wow. good, magnificent TV. Got the 70 yeah. inch model, so, you know, never uh, lacking that, in picture quality, you know, yeah, off the top of the um, be, before we do dive more into the horror genre, I just wanted to really quickly ask you about Gears. You were going to be on episode 4, but you weren't able to make it at the time. So you wanted to give your input on Gears. We, we all praised it, kind of, but I know you've gave, given up on Gears because you yeah, mainly played the multiplayer games. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, Gears, like, compared to what they've turned that game into, honestly, I mean, it's just... I don't want to say mainstream, but they changed a lot of things in the gameplay that just, you know, some strong points that made the game very strong in the original Gears, you know? Yeah, now you're talking multiplayer or single in player? In multiplayer, even single player, you know? And, and when I played Gears 1, when it, you know, the original Gears, the, 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 what do you call it? The development quality you felt was so much higher, you know? The environments, when you, when your character walked through, you actually felt like you're walking through, like, a cathedral, or you're walking through, like, you know, the, 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 what do you call it? The mausoleum, uh, like a uh, scenario in the single player, yeah. you felt like you're walking through an actual big, like fully developed world, detailed world. You know, after the the later gears started coming out, you know, gears two exclusively, gears two is when this started. They yeah. made major gears changes. Two, I think, was the downfall of multiplayer with that lag, the smoke grenade down. Yeah, exactly, not just that. You know, the the yeah. development quality I felt just depreciated greatly. You know, in the details of the environment. You know, from the gameplay. You know, in Gears 1, when you played it exclusively online, you even single player. So that's and when they updated the, input, the Unreal Engine. Exactly. They made some major changes to the engine that just made the, you know, made the, the game so choppy. 
you know, in Gears 1, you got perfect feedback for your character when you, you know, when you rolled, you dived against the wall, you know, and you would know what you're going to anticipate, you know, exclusively when you're playing online as well, you know, like, you got a headshot, you know you got the guy in the headshot. In Gears 2, like, you, it's just too choppy. You feel like gameplay is just way, you know, yeah. I, I don't know if it's a development quality or they made changes to the engine as far as, like, how they, uh, they set up the levels, the you know, and, like, you felt everything was so much more generic. Like, you'd see the same boxes throughout the game, you know, the environment. Like, yeah. I don't know, it was very repetitive, I feel. You know, in Gears 1, every environment you went to, you actually felt you're, like you're in a real room. You know, your character had size, yeah. you know, compared to all the other objects. Now, you did play Gears 3 with us, remember, with the sawed-off I did, yeah. online. I did, yeah. uh, You didn't complete the campaign, I remember. I did not. I couldn't, I, you I mean, completed I mean, 1 and 2. In the That's story, you just kind of the story, like, yeah. Story. Gears was kind of always weak with the story. I, I, I will say it was weak. Even in yeah. the original Gears, it was weak, but... At least the environment was was immersive, you know. You felt like the your gameplay was so like it would suck you yeah, in. Yeah, they always brought back Gears One maps to all the future ones. Exactly. Because gridlock, they always brought it back War Machine, you know. You know, even Fuel people Depot. that weren't like too uh, too grounded in multiplayer games, you know, like some yeah. of our friends that even had it, you know, they just liked the, how the game felt and how it played, you know. And later in Gears Two, you just felt like everything depreciated, like they gave up on, uh, you know, like like actual gamers, you know, when you actually input you know and you're playing a multiplayer and you input like a like a you know like you shoot a guy in the head you know you killed him and you know you yeah. know you shot him I in the head. they, they were him. focusing more on co-op in Gears 3 with horde mode beast mode they did the they did kind of it's, tr it's yeah. very true but the you know, stopping power I just I felt like in Gears 3 see, the better way I can explain it is they shifted from making it a competitive game to just a game where like, everybody can play it you know and it's yeah. like oh whatever you know to a wider but, audience did you play Gears 4 Gears 4 I'll be honest with you I didn't even mm -hmm. Didn't give that game a chance. Okay. I kind of, you know, after Gears 1, I was like, oh, Gears 2, I can't wait. Play Gears 2, you know, yeah. I kind of lost interest, you know, and the multiplayer was just, like, terrible. You'd never know what to expect on there. You One day they changed yeah. this, one day they changed that, you know, like, well, well, I can tell made you this they, weapon stronger. They did improve with Gears 4, and now Gears 5, I feel they improved even more because, remember how Gears 1 had the custom uh, lists? Mm. So they got like three different types of uh, multiplayer. They got arcade, they got the matchmaking for ranked, and then they got the serverless browser where people can kind of experiment, put torque bows only, shotguns only. They right. pick the map they want. That's one thing I always hated about Gears 2, 3, and 4. Actually, I'm not sure 4 had the, the browser list, but 2 and 3 I know didn't. And one thing, when new maps, new DLC comes out, I had to go through the matchmaking list and hope that map comes up that I want to just play right away. Well, I understand. And I couldn't go play yeah, it unless was, it was annoying. Local. When they make those limitations, I got spots. <laughs> yeah, when they make those kind of limitations, it kind of like bothers, you know? Yeah, you so I can tell you, five, you five is better. I've been playing the single player campaign. And it's really good. They kind of have an open world environment. You're on this uh, ski lift type of uh, thing mm. and you're doing side quests and main quests. But it's still kind of linear. Well, they definitely definitely focused more on the single player story, and that's the thing I was gonna mention. Zarek Meister is more he's not competitive like uh, you know our co-hosts or anyone who's been on the show so far. He also plays for story driven games. It's cool, yeah, I, I like that single player titles. Game has it's a good, good story, yeah. you know. It's it's you're always into that's a that. big up, you know. Like even if the gameplay isn't my. Uh, type of gameplay if, they, if I hear the game has a very good story I'll still try it out just to see you know yeah, how it is so you know I, I'm not uh, I will say I'm a bougie gamer you know <laughs> you can call me that but yeah now uh, I just like high high value production you know like yeah so Call of Duty really, really quick we're gonna touch up on you know what we touched up on episode 4 uh, I know you're no longer a Call of Duty fan. You used to play in the yeah. past uh, original Call of Duty classic on PC exactly Call like, Duty see there's 2. another point I want to bring like you yeah. know Call of Duty you know, they always stuck to their same t type of gameplay, you know, even look how many different Call of Duties they, they, they made. Yeah, produced. they make one every you year. Know, they make one literally every year, and like, you know, their gameplay stayed the same, it's consistent, you know, it's consistent to what originally was made, you know. Gears of War, the thing that made me lose so much interest is how they just deviated from the original, like, like blueprint, you know, like the game was flawless. Gears 1 in every way was like, I, I would say flawless. Yeah, Because you, know? well, you could practice and get better, still, and then you'd know the results you're going to get from how you're playing, you know. In Gears 2 and all the other games, you just never know how to still kind of stuck with the Nash as the main weapon. Of though. course, like, yeah, that's another thing, you know, of course. But they changed the complete way the yeah. gun shoots. They, they the way gun, more... you know, the physics of how the weapon, uh, you know, shoots. What it, yeah, the Lancer is stronger, the, it's more... 
Of the course, the, the Lancer, the, the Hammer Burst. Introduced yeah. to, they introduced newer weapons to it too with Gears 5, so... Yeah, I mean, I got nothing against the game, you know, like... But they just, you know, it's not yeah. it's not so like how it used to be. Are you so. going to get mo the new Modern Warfare? You know, they're talking about controversy with the single player, that it's going to be violent, it's going to open some eyes up, you know. Their multiplayer, we mentioned on Episode 4, is more like Battlefield now. And it still has the, you know, run and gun close counters type of game as well. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. You you're, know, you're, I'm really well, my little brother's always end up getting the Call of Duty games, so I'll end up trying them here and there anyways, you know. I really, yeah. it, I'll be honest with you, like... The last uh, Call of Duty actually com completely 100%ed was the original Modern Warfare. You know, the so is that your favorite that. Call That's of Duty? That's probably too? my first Call. You know, my favorite Call of Duty because they introduced like you know they introduced the the genre kind of you know yeah, Call they, of Duty's in its own genre. I would say they rebranded it. So you know, I think it's a first person that, shooter. Yeah. You know, Call of Duty is just a Call of Duty. You know, yeah. they just like you know anytime they release a new one, it's just new content, new material. You know, it's the same game but yeah, just new but material. But Black Ops Five had no campaign. They just, I mean. They, they jumped on the battle I, I mean, royale. There's a couple ones in, in between that I end up trying to call because yeah. you always know what to expect from them. You know, it's not like oh, this new game that's a completely new experience. No, it's the same experience you had. You know, they might change the level. You know, I wasn't yeah. really too enthusiastic about it, but I'd like you know I'd like to play every once in a while, exclusive to multiplayer. Okay, so how I understand, Gears One, your favorite Gears. Yep. Call of Duty Four, Modern Warfare, your favorite Call of Duty. Exactly. And pretty much, you're hoping this new Modern Warfare. Kind of revisits. Yeah, I mean, I heard there's a lot of a lot of uh, original maps they're using too. They're repoing maps in there from the mm -hmm. original uh, online. So yeah, that would be I good. Mean, uh, it's they, a good competitive game. You know, it's one of those games you just when you got you know when you're waiting on something or you got stuff to do, you just pop it in. You know, get a couple games in and out, in and out, and then yeah. You know, what What's your opinion on loot boxes? They're rumoring that you know Call of Duty will probably be out, have been out by the time this hits YouTube. This episode. Uh, hopefully there's no loot boxes where you pay for weapons and oh, they gives always you the include advantage. That. I always, they always gotta include that. In every game they include No, weapons, kind of skins, thing. yeah, but I'm talking about loot boxes that give you an advantage. Now, hopefully they won't go through with that. <clears throat> One thing they are going through with is a PS4 exclusive survivor survival mode for Spec Ops. Xbox is still gonna get the... Spec Ops co-op mode. So they're doing a variation of content for each console? Yeah, right? one year exclusive on PlayStation. Now, you you play on Xbox. Are you upset about this or you don't care about Not Spec really. Ops? Not really. I really don't. I really didn't spend too much time in the Spec and, Ops. And you don't mess I mean, around with loot boxes either. You Not really. I don't. I don't. I, I mean, I play... I'll be, like, most of those game modes they had in Call of Duties, even the zombie mode, I played that game mode about three, four times, you know? Most of the time, like, uh, you know, growing up, most of those zombie games I used to play on PC, all the Left 4 Dead, all that, you know, everything kind of uh, copied that in the newer, you know, in the newer console games and the newer, you, you know what I'm oh, saying? Like like all the games, exactly, they kind of took that idea and they just revamped it, you know. Back yeah. when the original Left 4 Dead came out, you know, I was so hyped about that game. It looked so intense, you know. And all these other companies just try to, how do I say it, like try to mimic that, you know, and they try to just change it up a little and try to present that as their own idea, but, you know, when you get that original yeah. feeling of a game, you know... We had that whole zombie It just gives epidemic. me disinterest, you know, it gives, me, it gives me a lot of disinterest, you know, like, uh, you know, when you I, play the I original idea saying. and the original genesis of the, of the okay. gameplay, you know, like... Now, we're going to jump into so, Resident Evil. Um, if you've seen the new trailer right now, there's, uh, like, four characters, they're not known to the franchise... It looks more like it. a Resident Evil Left 4 Dead. It's funny because you mentioned Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's World War Z. That game came out. It's more like Left 4 Dead as well. It's out on uh, PC. I think it's on consoles as well. What's your opinion on the new Resident Evil? Is this a good step for the series? Should they be making a Left 4 Dead what type I think, of... Uh, what I think they're you know, doing is they're making the same mistake they did many years ago. When they with released Umbrella Cl place. Chronicles. And, and, well, Outbreak. Just, outbreak, the outbreak. The online Outbreak versions, you know? Like, yeah. It wasn't horrible. I mean, I don't know. You can. I just say. I, I just feel like they're trying to make. They're gonna make the same mistake they did. Yeah. In a game like this, where it's limited, you know, it's supposed to be a first-person experience. You know, like uh, the person who's playing it. You know, like you put. You know, it's like fear, a mix of fear, intensity. You know, when you try to like, it feels like a cluster. You know, like a big cluster fuck, as you can <laughs> yeah. say. You know, whenever they try to do stuff like that, it never works. And I know for a fact because that's true. I've the, seen the it last experimented. Resident Evil game released on Steam, it died out after like the first exactly. week. I forgot what it's called. And even Umbrella Chronicles, which was developed by Slant Six, the guys that made SOCOM for PS3, 
in its confrontation. Still flopped, you know? Yeah, it, like there was a lot of fans, but that studio is still shut down. Now, do you think they have a side studio working on this new Resident Evil, and then they got their main team working on Resident Evil Eight? It could be. I honestly didn't even look into the production bit. I looked at how the so, production team did it, or what they were do doing. Do you prefer you know? them I mean, to be working I, on uh, Resident Evil Eight instead of this Left 4 Dead type game? I'll be honest with you. After years, many years of all these different Resident Evils, you know, and how they've evolved their gameplay and completely turned it into action. I mean, I don't know. I think it's, well, Resident uh, Evil Seven was more horror. It, it was. It was I mean, more like PT. It, no, no, that's true. That's true. I forgot about yeah. that one. I'm sorry. That one. I don't know why that felt like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre type of game. It was game, a good you know? game. I it was very it. much. It, th- that's the weird thing about Resident Evil. They deviated so much. Like you know, you feel like they're 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 just like you know trying as hard as they can to make something. You know, they're just trying everything. Yeah, you know? and, and I, I think I, they I, jumped on the PT wagon. You know, after Resident Evil successful. Four, after Resident Evil Four, you know, I think that's where everything started declining again. You know, as far as their game. Oh, with Resident Evil Five and Six. Exactly. Did you play those as well? I did play those as well. Like you know, they kind of deviated a lot for me i enjoyed five a lot but it was turning more into an action yep. game and by six i'm like oh my god this is a horrible game it, it was it's <laughs> very true i played resident evil five and, and i'm like what's going on here this isn't resident evil no more you don't yeah. get the feeling of, of five urgency was intense. And fear you know like yeah it, five was intense more fans like four but six just straight down yeah, that's true no i completely agree. Uh, you seven know, was uh, up uh so do you what do you think should resident evil 8 be more like resident evil 4 or should they continue like resident evil 7 more texas chainsaw i mean feel, uh, it, that did work you know that whole it worked scary and theme good. and the, the gritty and nasty kind of you know it did yeah. work very well but you know i just felt like it's not a Resident Evil no more. You're not playing Resident Evil. You're playing a completely different game, I kind of, you know? Game. like. So you prefer the old school style of old, Resident I, Evil. Well, not old, old school, but Resident Evil 4 style. Exactly, yeah. You know, you that was the last time I like feel that. they did it right. Yeah. You know, they deviated from the story and they made a little side story. But, you yeah. know, I feel like with the success of that, they tried to just, like, you know, keep going with it. And I, I don't know. I don't know how yeah. far that goes, you know? like. So you want it to be a lot more into horror action if they made Resident Evil. Exactly. Game. I mean, you know, what 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 would you choose? More horror, more pop up. I'll be stuff. honest, you know, like I think they should go back to their original Resident Evil roots, you know? It might yeah. sound a little uh, you know, like too Like right now they released the Resident Evil 2 remaster. Have you been playing it? I I, I have played it a couple times, you know. I will say Is that like, a good step or I mean I, know I will you, say you like the original on PlayStation. 1. I love the original. I beat so, all the original Resident Evils. You know, yeah. I got an A rating and everything. Re two was your rating. favorite. Re two is probably one of my favorites, honestly. Yeah. I so, agree, what I do you think of this remake? Was it a good? It's a pretty good remake. I will say it was short. It yeah. Was very. It was cut short. Yeah, they have much. achievement. You can beat it in like two hours. You know, and as far as it goes, like, I don't know. I just didn't get the old Resident Evil two feeling. You know, playing that, I felt like they changed a lot of things. You know, they took out a lot of stuff that you know takes you back down back memory lane. You know, yeah. like from the original. But it's still worth playing, right? It is worth playing. I will say that. You know, but I just feel like it, its production value wasn't as high as it could have been. You yeah, know, they did a very low budget. I would say. I don't know. Okay, so rumors. This is from my opi- from my perspective. You know, a of lot of course. people will, will say differently. I know I know the reviews. They weren't raving about it, but they yeah, gave decent definitely. reviews. You know, they gave yeah. pretty good reviews. I think it was a good good thing they're bringing back the classics. Personally, my favorite was Resident Evil Three Nemesis. I want to see that remade. Yeah, that that one was. There's amazing. rumors it's being made. What do you think? Should they? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, they did. I will say it was a good step remaking the Resident Evil 2. You know, it wasn't a yeah. bad thing. That was I just thought they could have made it. They could have made it much better. They could have made it With so RA2. much better. Exactly. Okay. You know, like Resident Evil 3, Nemesis chasing you, popping in and out. Oh, that was everywhere. amazing. I, 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 I think that was like, that game. I remember playing the demo yeah. for that originally on the PlayStation 1. A long time ago, they had a demo of that. You know, I just mm-hmm. kept playing the demo but until the game came out. It was, it was amazing. amazing. It was amazing. amazing. Remember one of the save rooms? You're like, oh, he can't come yeah, in and here. Then he and then he pops in. Yeah. in. See, that's that. what we need from horror games, you know. No, intensity. I, was, I mean, yeah. you need to make it intense, you know. like yeah. and, and creepy at the same time. Exactly. Like, the thing I remember about Resident Jesse. Evil 2 and all the old Resident Evil styles, you know, even when you're playing, you know, and you ha- always had to be conservative, you know, very conservative that's, with your ammo. That's true. You know, when yeah. you completely ran out of ammo, you weren't completely fucked. You can go late. You can yeah. still go on a little bit and struggle a little bit. You're going to end up finding bullets later, you know. They didn't make it impossible, but, you know, they made it just difficult enough for you to, like, 
you know that that's absolutely compared to true. other games difficulty like dark souls dark souls like you're at the last hit for the boss and you fucking get killed in one yeah. hit now we'll, you know, like, we'll, we'll, we'll change dark that souls up. for a new up you know like that's episode. overkill even though it is intense and kind of has that horror vibe but uh, no, uh I, I was gonna say i thought resident evil was my first intense experience experience but actually it was silent hill Oh, I remember. I, What's your opinion on Silent Hill? I remember you introduced the Silent Hill back in elementary yeah, part school. One that was on the PS One. Bro, as scary as that two. game was when I was a kid, was we'd play that game, and then like, you know, you you get to a part, you're like, okay, that's enough fear for me now. I'll turn it off for a bit. Yeah. You well, turn it off, you know, you come back like an hour later and continue. Then you get it. Amazing. Yeah. Sorry, that's my second most intense game. My third is RE Three Nemesis. I'll let you know about one when we get to that uh, subject, but. So I was gonna ask you about PT, you know, with the cancellation, and it was looking like a really good game. And, uh, you know, should Silent Hills follow RE7 route, where it's, should it be like PT, or should it be old school third person? Because they've tried many, many iterations, and they've been failing, like, no, I, Downpour, Homecoming, they haven't really made it, no, even, agree, even Silent Hill 4, The Room, it was... No, I agree. I mean, I, I felt like, you know, like uh, when Silent Hill, you know, the original thing that made that game so scary was the story. The story was crazy. It was all literally it was all story driven. Too, yeah. You know, it was very mysterious. Like you're trying to find out who this guy is, you know, what's going on, his daughter, like, you yeah. know, Sher was it Sherry, his daughter? Cheryl. Name? Cheryl. That's, and you're trying to figure out what's going on, you know, and then you have demon children and you have all this yeah, crazy shit. Creepy shares. stuff. You, don't you know, that was a with. very good game because it was all story driven. And then you find out about a cult and you find out about all this, you know, the ones later on, like I felt like they, they tried to make, you know, even their, 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 their like enemies in the original one. Were just like the nurses that were like creepy. Remember all that? That's you know, true. they actually put a lot of value into like you know like how the game was presented. And the newer ones, they just throw a triangle on a guy's head and have him chase you around. Yeah, the you know, they, they felt kind of you know they kind of got true. lame with and it. The actual and the last story, one was Diablo style, and like really, you know, and their story just like you know it's all over the place. Really, that, that's you know, true, they never yeah. build on the story. Now they, they just they connected Resident or Resident Silent Hill one and three. Those connected sort of mm -hmm. and. And, Resi and Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 4 are sort of connected story wise. Yeah, I remember that. I remember the original yeah, that, Silent that Hill 2. Cool. Silent Hill on PlayStation, that game was amazing. That, was that's good. a fan favorite. Everyone likes that. Personally, I like one better, but uh, what, yeah, no. what, what was your favorite out of the Silent Hill franchise? I, mean, I, can, I, can, I don't know if it's just like, just like, you know, I'm just like an old school gamer, you know? Like, I, I don't know if so it's just. So you go with part one or part two? Originally, I would say part two, part one and part two. Those were probably the two best I've ever played hands down. You know, if I had to choose, I would say... If you had to choose for them to do a whole remake... Do a whole remake? On PS4, Xbox... So I would one. say uh, Silent Hill 1. Silent but Hill 1 was just like... Perfect, that's you exactly know, So the length of the game too, was a very disagree. long game. Remember how long Silent yeah. Hill 1 was? You know, and like the different endings you had and the different variation of... You Definitely. Know, different that, outcomes you could get from making these different decisions. There's so many through. different endings. You know, that game needs a remake. Definitely. I remember, forget that moth boss. Remember that there's a big moth... But there was a moth I, boss I in the game. I something like that, like a butterfly. It was, a, it was like Maybe. a moth. It was a pretty, and then you had to like, I don't know. It's you been, just it's never been too that long, film. but yeah, it needs a remake. Um, anyways, we're going to move to Dead Space. Oh my God. Dead when Space. that came out, that, that was game intense. Was one hell that of a was game. amazing. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, that game was one hell of a game. I still never, I'll never forget the eyeball scene. Remember the eyeball minigame scene in uh, in Dead Space? Yeah. You know, with the, with the needle going in the, in the eye and you have to direct it. Remember that? The that was the still. Oh they, yeah, yeah. They still say that's yeah. one of the most gruesome scenes in video games to yeah. this day. But I'll never forget that, that game was so intense. It had so know? many pop pop ups. You know, you thought very, the enemy was laying even there even dead. their puzzles. Remember their puzzles were very oh, good too. Zero gravity. All, it was amazing. All this crazy. That that's what made a good horror game. Um, you know, like Dead Space Two came out, then three eventually they kind of did what Resident Evil did, catered more to action. Yeah, that's and true. Co -op. That's true. Yeah, we that's did true. play Dead Space 3. We still did enjoy it. But they it. still stuck to the same kind of story, you know, in space, aliens, yeah, you know, and like definitely. Bonus and it was weird. I was playing uh, the, in the marker. The it was character. called the marker, right? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 something about a marker. I don't remember. It's been like too weird, long. Uh, yeah, but what weird. I want to mention is we were playing in co-op. You were playing Isaac, the main character. Mm -hmm. I was playing uh, the friend that was with him. Mm -hmm. And he would go into a trance and I would be fighting in his brain while you had, you're like, why are you standing still? There's all yeah. these creatures coming. Yeah, remember that? That, that was a part of the game. And that, yeah, yeah. that was a cool That concept. was amazing. Yeah, that yeah. Was, oh man, that so was I, amazing. We did still enjoy it. It sucks it left on a cliffhanger, Isaac landing to Earth and we never got to see what happens after. 
But, was uh, it was it when they landed on Earth? Was it like it was, in, it was, was in the DLC? Yeah, we killed a boss in space, and then we saw his ship going to land to space or going to land on Earth, and we never got the. Uh, man, I totally yeah. forgot about that game. That game was amazing. But no more Dead Space Four Visceral got shut down by EA. EA is not focusing too much on giving these new IPs a chance. You know they're yeah, no, they're sticking true. with Battlefield. No, it's true. Star they're basically Wars, making money off know. their bread and butter. For, you know yeah, what I'm saying? They're exactly. Making they're their... for sure set. So, do you think they should go with the Dead Space Four and give it to a new development team? Get a team set together. No, this is where I won't that's... have that same magic this, this that Visceral is, had. This thing is what well, this this main thing is kind of boggled me. You know, for years, even when I was a kid, you know, understanding how companies can invest all this money in shit games. You know what I'm saying? Like, are they not gamers to play these? And like, you know, they usually like, aren't. You know, and like, it drives me crazy. Like, you know, people know what a good game is. You know, like when fans, you know, even somebody that's not, you, you know, like they know what a good game is. I don't know how they managed to do this and flop with this kind of. You know, with yeah, all this the, money, the all this product, working it's, on the game. drives me insane. Like, how do you not get the cards right? You know, yeah, like the developers know? usually don't make all the decisions. It's whoever is head up. It's true. Yeah, no, I agree on that. You know, I mean, I don't so know. So should they make a Dead Space Four or don't just leave it? It's, I would say Dead Space trilogy. Four would sell. You know, it's been long enough. But is there a team? It's equipped? been how how many years has it been since the other uh, Dead Space? Two thousand ten, I think, was you know? Dead Space Three, maybe. 12? It's no, been a no, long no. damn time, time, like, you know. Yeah, 3 came out way, like, 2012, maybe. You know, I'm not too up to date. It's, it's, yeah. it's been a... It has been a good while, yeah. It's should. been a good while since I looked into, like, companes, you know, yeah. and, like, development and who's... I, I want a know. Dead Space 4, but they need to give it to a company that's known. If they put together a new team and it doesn't have uh, the original developers, it's going to flop. Anytime you hear if about a back new someone, team to make something, you're, it's always going to be a flop. Yeah, unless awesome. they bring back some of the old school developers that worked on it, they brought them back together, you know, they got rehired in, then definitely. Um, real quick, I want to touch on Alone in the Dark. Oh man, you've been that a fan of that. Yeah. I didn't play the old school ones. I know you. Made I played on the Dreamcast. The original. Yeah, Dream, you played the old school ones. Those ones were really good, man. That game was like a game that kind of like, you know, back in the days, everybody used to say it was like a knockoff Res Resident Evil or like a knockoff. Yeah, but it was it did it really well. You know, even their graphics back then for those games were amazing. Yeah, that's why it's a known franchise, but it's been long yeah, in the dust. Been... Uh, the last one we got, we played on Xbox 360. It was a weird glitchy one, remember? But it, it was, was very, very glitchy, good. but yeah, it, it had some very innovative good ideas, looking in your jacket, building, combining stuff. Yeah, it was a very good game. Yeah. I'll never forget that game. Remember driving with the car you're and the whole world yeah, was breaking? Oh, man, the whole game was insane. falling on you. Yeah, yeah it's just but something. It was very glitchy. Like, see, <laughs> even though games, you know, even though sometimes their production value isn't the best, you can still make a really good game that, if you know if you make it intense you know definitely you at least true. put some you know it's a piece of artwork literally yeah. that game was, was one of those games where like you know you overlooked all the bad things about it because how good it played yeah you know i mean no that, sorry that wasn't the last one they released some off-brand one a low budget one on steam i remember i showed you a link was to that? it i've never heard of it i, I, I didn't play it but yeah, that, so that was our last. You know, even the flashlight. You know, remember how you moved the flashlight? Oh yeah, in that, that was game? cool. You know, that's where kind of Alan Wake got their idea. I think you know, I feel yeah. they did that. Alan Wake was amazing. Alan Wake was just they insane, down to the physics, the graphics, the immersion, the, the storytelling. You know, the, oh my god, you the know, game is a story too. I think his it's name was Sam Lake. He voiced Max Payne's voice in Max Payne One and Two. Was it? And maybe three, but he writes the stories. I heard for uh, Alan Wake. He, he's the, he like used the, the original director. physical guy that used in the yeah. original Max Payne too. Correct, correct. They used his face too. Yeah, I remember he's a, that. He's a great writer. I hope he does come back. Yeah. And, uh, and it's funny because Alan Wake is a story of a guy who's writing a story. Yeah. You're basically playing the guy's stories. And it's, that game Control that you were anticipating. All that, that game, that game reminded me exactly of Alan good. Wake. It's That's very why good. I it's just it's not known to people. Exactly. It's not selling. I don't know so why. Well. Like, is it? Is it, is it it's a hype. It's made by Remedy. Wasn't it made by yeah, Remedy? Definitely. So it's like I was confused. How this is like you know? Anytime back in the days, you saw Remedy, you're like, oh Remedy. Yeah. It's you amazing. Knew you were gonna get. There a good was nothing game. they've ever released that that wasn't you know at least good you know like. That's true. It was always... I'd say it was a triple-A title. No, honestly. I agree. I completely agree with that. You know, like... You know, you know. anytime you see Remedy, the game is certified. You know, it's kind of seeing Rockstar games. You see oh, yeah. Rockstar games, you don't you care what... Them you don't care if it side. has a tennis ball on there, a ping-pong ball, you're buying that game. Now, do you, with the rumors, uh, Sony might be buying Remedy. You're an Xbox fan. Yep. 
Are oh you into this where, oh, they should buy it? Or do you like the company to be like third party? Release on PlayStation, release on PC, release on... From my, uh, from my experience, I yeah. don't know. I mean, I mean, you, I can you say, you know, the production value is going to be really high. You know, if, if they have the same it. team, if they have the same team, you know, making these games, whatever they're making, you know, and the company's not doing any kind of reform in the company, then I would say the company is going to still... Uh, yeah. You know, their their value is only gonna go up if a big company like that's buying them. You know, that's true. Now, its production value will only go up. You know, and you know it will limit it as far as a uh, 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 platform. Definitely. You know, but it will have a great impact yeah. on the video game quality. I would. Say. I don't like the limitations of exclusive titles here and there, but when Sony does back up a a studio. You see high productions come out of them. Exactly, I agree. I and agree. if that's the case, if that's going to keep Remedy alive, because it, then it not a lot of sales for Control, you know, it's which is kind of sad. I think the, so if Sony the sad buys part, them, and the, people will be more into them. I, I apologize. So much. Like yeah. that, the reason, I, I mean, Control, you know, I just think it's a lack of marketing. You know, you're not seeing commercials on there. Yeah, you're not yeah. seeing it everywhere. That's true. I'll be honest with you, the last time I heard I about Control, I saw it on a Game Informer. You know, and I'm like, this game's amazing. And I still got that same copy on my desk. I left it there to remind myself because I hadn't been seeing much of this game. You know, I didn't even know it was released already. Yeah, I, I, I didn't hear about it. Play it. I I didn't, just, yeah, until I, I listened to... Uh, I listened you know, to is it really to... released? Like, it's out? Like, you can just buy it off the shelves? Because mm -hmm. I'm going to go and buy that game probably as yeah. soon as I walk out of here. Because I've been looking for something to play. Yeah, I'll, I'll I've been playing Darksiders. I've been trying you know to it'll probably end up on the Xbox Game Pass. So you think so? It'll be available to play like you know if you have a pass. No, or, just, or even games with gold. They'll probably give it out for free. You but think, yeah, I mean, they don't get games into on it, gold don't wait, you... Support them. Get them. I, I'd agree. Yeah. Um, I want to move on to Outlast. and Amnesia type of games. You know, I always looked at them as walking simulator type of horror games. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're talking uh, about. Amnesia, I know it was a big hit when it came out. I tried to play it. The puzzles turned me off, and it was... You know, there were some spooks here and there, but I didn't like it. Outlast, on the other hand, was amazing. I enjoyed it. It was good. It was very intense. Again, I don't like horror games where you can't really defend yourself and you're just running the whole time. Sort of like also Fatal Frame, where you're just taking a picture and running. I like to, you know have the horror of running but also fighting back so what's your opinion on games that are walking simulate not walking sim but horror games like i mean like those outlast, games like, those uh, games like that you know amnesia outlast they're just about the experience they're not about this, anything else outside experience yeah. you see well, they I'm are saying? intense and they, they are, are intense. that's why i say experience you know just intense and just like oh this yeah. you're running around trying to smash your keyboard trying to do whatever you're mm -hmm. you know like no, I've no. always saw through those games because, you know, I originally was a PC gamer who's back in the days, you know, I, all I played is the Gary's mod, I played everything, so I saw all the different possibility. Did you play Outlast in all those games? Did you play I did, I, I, in fact, I played Outlast at your house before, remember yeah. running through the asylum with some guy chasing you, remember that? Yeah, did you and enjoy them, or? It was alright, man, it's just one of those games, it's like one of those games you go, like, on candy stand back in the days, you know, you just go and play it, and just like, oh, okay, experience, okay, but... and then you leave, you know, it's not like... Yeah. You know, something that's going to be memorable. It did start as an indie game, but it did get bigger with Outlast. Too. Of course, people, they made a genre, basically. People started trying to compete with it and make different Definitely games. Definitely, and you know, It's good for the market, I won't lie. It's good for people, you know, like for Steam. Like, you can just go on there, download that game in, in five minutes, four minutes. You but know? it's not your type of game. It's not my type of game, so, you know. Yeah. I like something that's more high production I value. play them, but they are my, like, I will play them, but I prefer Resident Evil, Silent Hill, you know. No, I agree. I'm the same way. It's like, you know, like... Yeah. You know that the no. that's why I see he called me a bougie gamer. I just like something with a high production value. Man, I like all the all every all the good things in one package. You know, yeah. like all this does have a good story too. That, I that would was say like it was story. it was a it was a good story. It was like uh, you know it's kind of I, I don't know why but that always gave me uh, it gave me a feel. Remember the suffering back on the PlayStation? Oh, how could we have that? That the I don't know how. Yeah. That's what that reminded me of. You're sitting in a chair. You well, had a well, guy. Suffering's more action. Suffering right? is much more action. They suffering need to bring is one that of a back. kind. <laughs> you know, that's why I said that. You know, this type of story and the suffering. You're a prisoner. You know, you're. You know, it kind of yeah. like it made you double whammy. You know, like double. You know, it yeah. gives you the fear. What about the thing? The thing was kind of. The uh, thing was a very good game. game. The thing was a very good game yeah. back in the days. You know, I remember. And I felt like the original thing. Remember on the PlayStation, they made a remake. Was it PlayStation Two or Play? No, they. You're talking about the movies. <laughs> you know, I know about the movies, but they made the PlayStation Two version. Remember the thing it was first person. No, no. 
That, that was, was on PlayStation? On PS2 was the original third person one. That was the third person one yeah. the thing? Are you uh, sure? Yeah. It was was it third and first? Or was this... No, no, it was third person. I was. I could have sworn yeah. it was. Mate, I don't know if you could go in first. And it shoot. was first person. Remember, no, no. you guys got you stuck. Shot at... in third. You, you had the flamethrower. Remember, you guys got stuck one time with like a turret and a yeah. glass door and it that, got killed. That was you. third person. Oh, man. I still haven't beaten it till this day. <laughs> I'm going to go back and try to beat it. I went back and beat Suffering 2, actually. Suffering 2 was amazing. Yeah. It was a glitch that had to Yeah, and my PS2 wouldn't run it. I had to run it on a different PS2, the newer models. It kept freezing on the last boss i don't know why crazy. i remember that yeah. but suffering was one hell of a game yeah definitely. suffering was really good uh i was gonna mention puzzles with amnesia and i know something that reminded me it was saw the saw games oh the, saw the games puzzles really, were really good they, were, they weren't bad that game like i don't know like you know it was just one of those games i just like oh saw oh, i just want to try this i tried it and it's like i played through the whole game you know so you there, beat it. You I did it. beat it. I beat the original. Don't you remember? I got yeah. the achievements for it. Check my achievements. I really enjoyed Saw 1. I didn't finish it. Saw 1. Too. I, 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 but it's I didn't been play so Saw 2 either. Long. Yeah. It's been so long since I played those games. But those games were really good. Like their puzzles. Yeah. Some it of the puzzles was a I get stuck on for a day. You know? I don't know if I was yeah. just really stupid back then or what it was. But I remember yeah. getting stuck on puzzles for like a day sometime. If my memory serves me. Uh, yeah. Was it timed? The puzzles it were, was pretty yeah, much yeah. time. You had See, to do something. That, when, when games become time, time square, to, yeah, it was, it was I know really you're a huge Dead, Dead Rising fan. Oh my when god! When they get time, I just can't. You know, I'm like, no, no, I want to take Dead that Rising time. Too, I want to explore. People don't understand Dead Rising. You know, the original Dead Rising was so good because the time, you know, and like you had to, it basically required like intelligence, real time intelligence. You had to time your your. You know, your, what decisions you, gotta, you, you want to make, scenes, your side time. missions, you know what you wanted to do. Say you wanted to just mess around, go around the mall, ride a skateboard, do whatever you want. It was really fun, man. That game was yeah. just insane. And the, the thing that I loved the most was like how they'd surprise you. They'd have secret weapons hidden on top of here. You know, a sniper rifle. In the, you know, once you get a hold of these weapons, you actually feel like you got power over it. You know, you can do what you want to do. You know, when you just walk into the mall with nothing, you felt like powerless, you know? Yeah. You get these weapons, you build... It was a very good game, in my opinion. What were your favorites? One and two? And I think, in my opinion, or... I'd say it was Resi or, uh, Dead Rising 1 and 2. You know, part 3 and after and like... You all think the that's other... when it started going downhill? I wouldn't say it went downhill, you know? But they just like deviated from the original Dead Rising, yeah. you know? They made it more arcade-like, kind that's of. That's true. Dead Rising 4 is kind of the nail in the yeah. coffin. For yeah, pretty Dead much. Rising. Yeah, did they, I don't think they're coming did out play anymore. Did you play 4? I did, I did beat 4. I beat did 4 like completely. It, it was alright, you know? They just like... You felt like it was lackluster, you know? Like, they were missing a lot of things. Yeah, of course, the map and the world got Frank bigger. West. I mean, they did bring back Frank West, you know? And, like, I will say the story... I love... The thing I loved about how, how Capcom always... Like, you know, the story was... They stuck to their guns, you know? They kind yeah, of... I don't want to say they stuck they to it completely, characters. but they stuck to their guns on certain things. That they didn't deviate too much from that, you know? The whole outbreak and all that. Definitely. You know, other games, you know, like, they, they take it way, you know... Way they deviate too much, basically. I don't know. Definitely. At least uh, from the feeling as well, you know. But I mean, you yeah. can just say that about the story. Now I know you played these two games as well. Beat them as I did as well. They're one of my favorites. The Evil Within. Oh my God! Evil Within is a very good game. One wasn't that hot. It was kind of like they're experimenting, getting used to it. It was very <laughs> scary. I just mean the aiming, the black bars, the widescreen, they kind of made it feel like... I'll be honest with you, those didn't even bother me. The game was very good. It bothered me, but... It didn't even bother it. me, I'll be honest yeah. with you. You know, I, I didn't even yeah. notice anything with the black bars. It might have been because I'm playing it on a freaking 70-inch TV, yeah. you know, I didn't really notice That's either. probably why. But, you know, like, I'm like, whatever, you know. Like, yeah, but Evil Within 2, I absolutely loved the game. Yeah, it was my game of the year for 2017. That was yeah. my pick. It was uh, a very uh, good compared game. Compared to, there was a lot of good titles. Z Zelda came out that year, Horizon Zero Dawn. I will see. But I picked Evil Within too. My runner up was Zelda on Switch, but uh you played you beat uh Evil Within too? I did, I did beat Evil Within too. You like the story, I you like the, the story I it's mean it just it's like it's, Inception, <laughs> basically. Bullseye, exactly which was as you just took it out of my mouth, literally. I was saying, like, you know, the thing with that with Evil Within is they added like I don't want to say they, they copied Inception, you know, but they added a little thing in there that kind of, you know, you wouldn't expect that in a horror game, you know, a guy Definitely. to be sitting in a machine dreaming, you know, and all this, so you don't really expect that, but it's a good, it's a good, uh, 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 what do they call those things? Uh, Shismo. I forgot story what they call it. direction. Like, no, like, like uh, you can say story direction, but like, you know, like, uh, how do I say it? Concept? No, it's like when something catches you off guard, like you get surprised by it. Oh, like, plot twist. Yeah, basically yeah, plot yeah. twist. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's exactly. 
I know, you know it's an extremely large plot yeah. twist. You wouldn't expect, like, what the heck? I was, I thought I was in a freaking asylum looking for the, you know, how the hell am I sleeping in this machine, you know? Definitely. It's kind of neat. I want Evil Within 3 to be made. I hope uh, Tango Games, they're called, I think. I for hope which... they're working on Evil Within 3. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I cannot wait for but another Evil I don't, Within. I don't think it was announced. You do want Evil Within. I do want Evil Within. Evil Within honestly kept me busy. It's one of those games where, like, you know, when I first saw Evil Within, I was like, God damn, I gotta level up and do all this for this guy, and, you know. But it was nice. It was kind but of it was, open it world was neat. Too, yeah, yeah. No, it was neat to just get in there and just play, you know. Some games take too long to get, you know, to, like, build up to where you, you know, to, to you basically yeah. on a steady road, you know. Some games just take way too long to just start. Perfect, Evil perfect. Within, just boop. And you know, you're already playing, you know, you got your guy leveled up in the first hour you have you got, you know. Highly recommend it. If no one's played the Evil I Within completely... 2, the director is the guy that made the Resident Evil games, Resident Evil 4 specifically. I highly recommend that game. Same um, here. I want to mention my number one most intense game. So I said it was Silent Hill was number two. Number three was uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Yeah. Number one that beats... All these Blair Witch. Oh my God! Vo- there's Volume One, Volume Two, Volume Three. I beat Rustin vo- Par. Which one was Rustin Par? I beat Volume One. Rustin Par was Volume Two. I played that game maybe for an hour. I hit uninstall. I threw the games in the garbage when I was a kid. I want to. I'm gonna go back and get those games to play them to see if they were really that scary. But Part One was amazing with the story. Uh, it had the protect protagonist, right? That's the mm-hmm. character you play yeah. with holiday and she was in this old town trying to investigate what's going on you had all these supernatural elements going on but plot twist if you guys haven't played it or spoiler i mean so uh put put it on mute <laughs> right now uh it, there wasn't really supernatural it was her dreams and really there was a killer on the loose that was throwing bodies under the church amazing game i'd recommend it part two i couldn't continue i never even played volume three What's your opinion on those games? Man, those I think games, you're the one who suggested I buy I, I, those. Yeah, I remember. Back then. I, your brother as well. I remember that game. I originally got. I saw a trailer for that game when I played Alice in Wonderland. They had like a old game called Alice. It was mm-hmm. like an Alice in Wonderland game. It was they a had horror a game. You know, with knives and killing and blood and stuff. You know, I, I don't yeah. even know. I ended up beating that game a long time ago. It was a very good game. And when I actually bought that game, it came with another CD for like a... Had a demo uh, demos disc. and discs and stuff, and it had the Blair Witch Project. Oh. It had heavy metal and all these bunch of other PC games that were like uh, by that company at the time. I don't even know if this company was still around at the time. Yeah, uh, I think it was called God Games. Yeah, they they stopped maybe making... unless that was the public or maybe that was the publisher for also the Mafia games. I'd yeah, I remember. I remember that. too. Yeah, like. But would you agree? Like those were those like, games were just th- see. That's the thing that, that gets that's the game horror that games nowadays. Had. I don't know if we've just outgrown it. You know, we're just not scared of no more of that crap. But yeah, you know, they possibly. used to do really good scary games back then. Even looking at you know, like I feel like what made those games scary is like the story and and, and the way they they develop it. You know, they stick yeah. to their guns. They stick to these themes. You know, and they build on the story. Now games they just want. All the horror games, they just want to scare you out from cheap crap. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Cheap, cheap pop-ups. Yeah. Cheap pop-ups and cheap trends. You know, they don't build up to it. Even the marketing. I remember watching the trailer for that Blair Witch Project game. I was like, fuck, I'm not playing this oh, shit. Oh, yeah, there's a new one coming out. I haven't tried it I remember yet. when I was a kid at the time. This was yeah. like this was like elementary school days, you know, and I watched the fucking trailer for the game. I could have sleep all night. Yeah. How fucking terrifying. Now, I do want to mention the new Blair Witch looks more like uh, Outlast type of game. These old ones were third person or Resident Evil style, walking around, camera angles fixed camera angles so i'll give the new one a try but uh like that one alien game it's not really my uh they released the aliens game. oh the first person shooter yeah one? i'm not really no not the first person the horror well maybe it was a first person it was first person it was they made well. alien it was on pc i'm not too into those so you know I, yeah no I alien got, games like i don't know i've always looked at the alien movies as uh as as like an action film, you know, with all the Ridley Scott films back in the days, the the original Aliens, even Prometheus. You know, I always saw them as sci, you know, science fiction, you know, action. I never really thought of it as horror. It's just you know, newly yeah. coming to me that people like say science it's a fiction, it's a right. horror. It's not. It's never been a horror film, you know. So it's been science fiction, right? Like, you know, you don't. I don't I see it any saying. other way. You know, people say it was scary, it was fearful. It wasn't fearful. You know, I've always, I've, I'm a big movie fanatic, you know. I like watching, you know. All we'll the have you on a movie podcast in oh, the future. Yeah, that's hopefully. my thing. I love movies. But uh, I want to mention with PT, there, there's all these discoveries that Lisa was always following you while you're walking. Some guy kind of glitched it, moved the camera, saw her in different areas, saw new content where she's 
beheaded in the bathtub. They removed that from the original PT demo. Are you serious? So yeah, that was some interesting things. That was the last game where I kind of played it, put it down, walked away, came back to it because it was too intense. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. PT wasn't uh, uh wasn't Norman Reedus supposed to be in the original yeah. PT? Yes, and then Kojima mm -hmm. now took him for Death Stranding. Is because that what originally happened? Because yeah. for a while there, I I don't know why I thought PT was uh, uh what's it? No, Death Stranding Silent, game. Silent Hills. And I was tripping out. He split from Konami. Mm -hmm. And he, Sony went back and funded him for Kojima Productions. He opened it again. That's and he started crazy. I didn't even know that. Now that you mention it, I was like, what is yeah. PT? When you first PT, I was like, crap. Is that Silent something Hills, I'm yeah. supposed to remember? Shit. And then, you know, <laughs> after you brought it up, I was like, Play hey, Norman Reedus was in here. Was yeah, yeah. No, it's good. That, you know, like how they deviated from that and they just brought up, uh, uh, yeah. you know, like now, uh, that's mention... trending. I thought it was the same game. They just no, changed it he up. He did mention it was going to be third person, Silent Hills. Mm -hmm. I wish it was made, but it was going to still be made, but... Too bad what happened. Do you think that's stranding? They're saying it's a new genre. Do you think that it will have horror elements? It kind of looks like that's stranding. Did they have fucking babies and little, uh, little? Yeah, they have these shadowy creatures. I watched it. You know, it's just very odd. I've never really got a full grip on the story yet yeah. and why they carry these babies. I think it's babies a mix of that, different genres. That's you know, sometimes I feel like uh, uh, Hideo is tripping out a little. And he's doing some psychedelics <laughs> with some of the stories and stuff he's throwing in there. You know, but, yeah, but we'll I don't know. We'll see how he throws those. You know, yeah, is it coming I know, out in November? This podcast. Will what I realized over Halloween. time, for the most part, is like uh, Hideo Kojima. Most of his films or most of his games, you know, he takes a lot of elements from uh, from Western uh, uh, cult, like movies. You know, back in the days, yeah, the Western, a big movie like fan. you know, like a lot of James Cameron ideas. You know, like a lot. It's a lot. Metal Gear Solid had a lot of Rambo. Exactly, a lot of Rambo style. You know, like a lot of other films. Terminator. You know, like you know the. Oh, Predator. Macho things. man kind of, uh, you know, badass. Like the, yeah. You know, even even one, like, Escape from New York, Pliskin, you know, all those ideas oh, yeah. are very Snake, much taken Pliskin, from all... Pliskin, one you know, eye patch, Exactly, you know. Big boss. <laughs> That's true. You can tell, like, you, you know, know he's taken know. these ideas and thrown the, you know, the... Yeah. the you know, there's he, a lot of biblical a ideas in there, too, as well, you know, like, he puts in there sometimes. He's a movie fanatic. Yeah, so it's good. No, I like... That's what I always liked about him. Yeah. Is there any other horror games we may have missed? Anything else you want to mention? Um, we, pretty much we pretty much went over it, even back from the ninety from the nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. I know there's some indie horror titles that were released on Steam. You know those are good, but yeah, we pretty much wrapped up. We pretty up, much uh, covered up all the horror games. Yeah, we, we're we're way over time limit. That's for sure. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's always nice talking you. to Zurich Meister. Appreciate you having me on the show. Thank uh, you. We're gonna wrap up. Uh, please like hit that like button, subscribe to us. Look forward to future content. You know, we're going to have a new top 10 video in the works soon. Smash Tournament, we're getting closer and closer to it. We're going to have a Patreon launching soon because we're going to need your support. Uh, website is defi definitely in the works, so I'll, I'll talk more about that in future podcasts. Uh, like always, we usually have a final word, you know, peace out. You can thank us for coming. You don't have to. Uh, thank, you for, guys. thank you guys yeah. for listening. We appreciate it. Give us a final word and we'll... We'll close out the show. We'll definitely have you uh, hopefully on future episodes. Maybe for like sure. Review. Appreciate we'll you guys for having me. Thank you, Stealthy. All right, we're good to go. Uh, Let, last word. Yell it to the camera. Um, for me. Yeah. Final word. Peace words. out, guys. I appreciate you guys having me on the show. You know, it's always good to talk. You know, this is our hobby. You know, this is what we like to do, anyways. You know, it's good. You know, if you guys have any opinions, leave them down in the comments. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Perfect for a uh, blooper correction right into the... <laughs>